Hey guys, recently I was given an opportunity to try the Aloman 20 volt drill kit. And I thought I want to take a minute and show you and tell you a little bit about it. Now the neat thing I thought about the kit is it comes with everything you can use. Your drill, hammers, wrenches, even a hacksaw, screwdrivers, utility knife, chain for your uh, tape measure, anything you might need to get a job done around the house. But the most important part is gonna be the drill. So let's talk about that. All right, first, as I said, 20 volt, variable speed, uh, has a nice level in the top, no excuses for crooked holes. One thing I like that a lot of drills don't do, storage right up here for drill bits, extra bits to have on hand for the screwdriver. I like that, I figure it's always easy to do, nobody does it. Now, first thing you're gonna ask is how does this compare? And that's the easiest way to know. Something you know, how does it compare to that? First off, I'm gonna say this is a household drill. All right, you're not gonna build a house with this drill, but it'll handle the maintenance and the DIY projects you have around the house. And for comparisons, I'm gonna compare it to the DeWalt. This is the DeWalt version. This is also what I would consider their household version. Variable speeds, pretty much the same way. The DeWalt runs a 450 to 1800 RPM variable speed. This runs at 800 to 2000 RPM variable speed. Uh, the DeWalt has a battery with a 1.3 amp hour life. This has a 2.0 amp hour life. So I'm gonna say these are fairly similar. Can't tell you about a torque difference. As far as batteries, they seem to last about the same. Had a project that I was doing. I used this one, I used that one. I ran both batteries down, brought them inside, hooked them both back up at the same time. And within about an hour, they were both charged up. This says it'll charge in an hour. I'd have to say it did that. So again, not a big heavy duty commercial drill but it does equal what I consider, or as close to, the DeWalt household type drill. Not bad in that respect. Now, if you're one of the subscribers to my channel, you probably don't have just a house where you do your maintenance work. Maybe you live out in the country, small acreage, a farm, a ranch, or something like that. And when you get into that type of situation, your needs become so much greater. All of a sudden, you have things to do all over. And if you have the kind of livestock I have, Maintenance on fences and maintenance on building is something that occurs almost every day. Now, we all have, if we're living in the country, we've got our barn, we've got our workbench, we've got our tools, but every time we go out to do a project, guess what? We need to take something and we dig, it, dig out the farmer's toolbox. Yeah, five gallon bucket. If you're on the farm, you grab your five gallon bucket, you pick out what tools you think you're gonna need off your workbench, and then you head out to the job and you find out, well, you're missing some of it. To me, I think this toolkit is gonna be great because as it sits, it's going with me everywhere I go. Whether I'm working the house, or whether I'm working here in the barn, or I'm out here finishing up the run-in shed, or I'm at the far end of the property working on fences. So for me, the greatest feature of this is I can take this everywhere I go and I've got everything I need to get the job done. Now, again, I live out in the country so there may be a few changes a person wants to make, such as the plastic anchors and screws you'd use for hanging pictures on drywall in the house. It might not be quite as much use for me as it would for you but the nice part is I can take that. I've got extra storage space here. I can even take the charger out, have more storage space for more plastic containers. I can fill them with screws, nails, and the always fencing staples. Something if you got livestock, you always need. So you can change that, customize it to what works for you. You will make, might make a couple changes. Drill bits, sockets are all metric. So if you're in the US, maybe you say, eh, I don't really need the metric, though anything more and more all the time we do. Nice part is socket sets, they don't cost very much. Matter of fact, I bet if I go back to my workbench, I'll probably find four or five socket sets. 
so I can easily change over to the socket sizes I may use here. Either way, I think it's a nice product. It worked well for me, and uh, I think it should work well if it's something you could use. You will find a link down in the description where you can order one, or if nothing else, you can look at the website and see some of the other products that they have. Hey, thanks for watching.